Welcome to a bird's eye view on my FBX3 rig in 24 Dini. The purpose of this tool is to convert a joints based or null driven rig into a bones based rig that can use Houdini's IK in rigging tools. When you import an FBX into current Houdini versions, you're left with a complete rig based on the FBX joints definitions. If you imported morphs or blend shapes, you find those in the shape net subnetwork. And while Houdini imports multi layered FBX, only the first layer gets a weight and deform pipeline attached. Trying to animate the rig without adjustments is quite difficult. Selecting the bones does more or less nothing, and you have to find each bone's corresponding joint and rotate that. Don't even think about applying an arcade chain to this setup. As I said, using the morphs is possible, but slightly hidden. The Wii Rigging tool takes care of the joints based rig and converts it into a correct bones based rig. Specify the object level path to the imported FBX. Check or do not check the Morph Exposure button and let the script run. The rig will be converted in place and you can instantly start a pose and animate the imported FBX. If you expose the morphs, you have direct access to them from the FBX top level node. I am using DAS geometry here, but the Wii Rigging tool works fine with any other FBX as long as the FBX rig itself has been created correctly. Note that not all DAS exports are correct in that respect. DAS Studio is by no means a perfect reference implementation of FBX. A good deal of the rerigging tool is that you can import a high res mesh version alongside the unaltered FBX version. In DAS Studio, you can add fine de detail onto a mesh like the veins and muscular structures visible on this Michael example. In order to use the high res mesh, you need to export the FBX. Remember to export the morphs with a suitable export setting for your needs. DAS Studio FBX exporter does not export the HD mesh. If you want to use that, remember to set the mesh geometry detail to high res and up the subdivision. Then export the mesh to a wavefront OBJ. I suggest using the original material path because then you can copy and paste the path names from the MTL file or just collect the required texture files in one directory. I remove the auto material creation tools from the Rerigger from the moment, but if there's enough interest in, in this project, I can add them back in. Back in Houdini, specify the path to the OBJ file that contains the HD resolution mesh and run the script on a freshly imported FBX. Note that you cannot rerun the script on an already converted rig, please. It takes a moment longer to, to convert the point weights to the HD mesh but the tool sets up a stash node so that once it has run, all posing and animation will be sufficiently fast. You can switch on and off the bones, and on a side note, these horns that you see sticking out of the mesh are end bones that are attached to the final nulls, because Houdini's FBX import ends with weighted joints that have no bones attached, but if you want to move them, you need to grab them somehow. In a future version of this tool, I may shorten those end bones to reasonable length, or maybe not, don't know. You can easily switch between the high res and the lowest mesh. Differences between the HD and lowest mesh are much more visible in the at render stage, but you can spot them here quite well. There's also a zero out one click resolution to reset all bones to default transforms. That's it for the current version of my rearing tool. If you like what you see, please consider giving some feedback on the phone, because feedback keeps developers happy.